Mojave and Catalina needs GUID partition and format to APFS for it to work. So you need to reformat or install a new hard drive. Okay, so we're going to hit F2 to go to the BIOS on all the Dell. So we want to enable legacy. In order to do that, we have to go to secure boot. And we have to disable, okay? And when we disable secure boot, then you can go to legacy and click that. After you're done with that, you can boot. We also need to make sure SATA operation is HCI, but most of the windows, they already assigned ASCI already, so you don't have to change anything. So just leave everything else. This one is Optiplex 7010, and this one had the i7. 3770 desktop from Dell got 8 gigabyte of RAM so we're going to check the device manager on this one the display adapter is graphic 4000 which we can this one has a two display port one uh, just VGA there's no HDMI but we can use the display port to DVI cable uh, to connect to any of the monitor and also the network adapter on this one is the Intel so if we use the Intel CAX we can get the network Ethernet to work and the sound on this one is Realtek 269 which is supported by Apple ALC so it's good so well, this one alone uh, if we can get one of these uh, really inexpensive right now used for about 100 or 200 dollars we can have Mac OS Mojave or even Catalina to install so you can make a Hackintosh out of this one which is really nice and this one we use the um, iMac 13.2 be perfect for it okay we need to get the read write everything to extract the ACPI of this one the 64 portable all right and right here you have we look for SSDT on the far left, one, two, three, and four, and the SDT. So this one doesn't have a lot of SSDT. So we click SSDT to the far left, click bin, go to any file, and we're gonna create ACPI. 7010 all right so we're going to change this one to dash one dot aml so we go to the next one and we're going to do dsdt so dsdt dot aml okay so we got it there we need to create Clover boot loader using boot disk utility. So you can look at the uh, boot disk utility on one of my uh, video. And inside here is we have the EFI folder, Clover, ACPI, and we have a patch. So what you're going to do you're going to drag all of these 
copy and we're going to paste it in here all right so that's the patch folder the next one we want to do the config file so the config file on this one okay so this is the config file one is on the X code the other one is just a text so then you have the ACPI so the ACPI is on this side here SSDT you put the original so look SSDT expanded I don't patch anything okay so when you put a pound in front of the patches that means you don't patch anything the only thing is that in case after you install and the USB 3.0 doesn't have the power then you can patch these two so you can patch these two only if the USB 3.0 doesn't work okay I'm going to ask for power now look at the fixes I fixed three things because it's an old uh, Ivy bridge so I patched these three so make sure the DSDT the original one is in the uh, patch folder the SDT is here. Drop OEM is false. The drop OEM boolean is no. Now let's look at the SDT. Drop OEM also no. SSDT drop OEM false. Sorted order. Now this is an old one. It doesn't work with speed step. You have to use the original SSDT and the SSDT created by the SSDT PR generation from Pike Alpha. Alright, to get the speed step working, the boot, all you need is option because an old one. So I do the same. Devices, audio on this desktop, it has ALC 269. If you inject 21 ID, the Apple ALC will work and you will have the sound. USB check all and then the property you use 0126 okay and, and it's graphic 4000 so if you look in here if you have a text these are the number that you need to have and with Dell you need these frame buffer if not stolen memory and stuff it's kind of instant reboot the graphics you don't inject any platform ID so you only inject Intel so you inject Intel true everything else is false kernel and patches so all of these are patch kernel and patches okay text to patch I don't patch anything except the four USB patch from PM Heart and everything else you don't touch RT variables. The ROM is the MAC address of the Ethernet. So this one will have Ethernet. System parameter inject text is detect and not yes, like what other people say. Now the SM BIOS is important. We use the iMac 13.2 and make sure it says the key is trust. So this is the config. It's very important. Without this config, you're not going to get anything done. So the next one we want to do is to make sure that everything is working is the drivers for the UEFI. Put all of the X-64, HFS Plus, and NTFS just like this in here. Kex, put in the other. So now, remember this, this is Ivy Bridge, so it's good to put fake ID Intel graphic and fake PCI ID and Apple ALC and this one is 1.43 ALC, fake SMC and what I use is a 1758, the last four, this from Rehab Man and then this one is 262 and this one is for the Ethernet Intel. So whatever 2.4.1D1 or something. Important thing here is the Lilu 1.39. I think right now it's 1.4, but I don't need it. USB inject all 0 0.7.1. 
and whatever green 1.3.4 so if you get these three the CACS, the config and the ACPI you will be able to install Mojave and Catalina whatever you desire and we're gonna go to our boot so we're gonna boot from Mac OS install Catalina So this is Catalina installer. I'm gonna put from Mojave installer. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna boot from Mojave one four six. Okay, so this is Mojave on Dell Optiplex 7010. This is Ivy Bridge HD 4000. So this one you will have sound, full acceleration, and the sound you can have from the back or the front. I'm using the USB headset. The network, you have the Ethernet which is working, although this one is Intel. So we use this uh, Intel mousey Ethernet and it works. Wow. So this one I use uh, iMac 13.2 and it is full acceleration here. Now we're going to boot into Catalina. Catalina. full acceleration the sound is working oh you open twice or something because this one is the USB external so it's quite slow monitor that has a DVI okay and I'm using the USB headset in order to get the speed step to work we need to have PR gen to generate this SSDT for this one to actually work. We cannot use the um, plug-in type 1 SSDT plug-in type 1 so we have to use this one. Okay so this one is from so you have to go here and do exactly as they said here and do the all you need to do is do the SSGen okay and it will show up No. So now, if you look inside this folder, it generate this one SSDT, and if you open it up, it will have all the, the max max turbo frequency is 3.9. So if you look here, maximum is 3.8, min is 3.6. So we don't do anything at all, but I'm recording right now, so I'm sure 